All right, remember, there were two things in our objective today. We were going to look at the form and function of the poem, which we did. We listened to the rhythm. We looked at the rhyme. Um, and the second part was that we were going to listen for the main idea of poems. So we're going to review what main idea is. We're going to look at two small ones, and then you're going to decide what today's main idea is of our poem. So um, looking at this picture, this helps me really think about what main idea is. We always say that main idea is what it's mostly about. Look at this pizza. The main idea is the whole pizza. The details are the little toppings. The little pepperoni is a detail. The pepper is a detail. The cheese is a detail. They're all small pieces of the pizza, but the main idea is what the whole thing is, the pizza. Detail is cheese and pepperoni. Main idea is the pizza. So let's look at the pizza, uh, main idea of these poems. A little seed. Uh, when I read this, I want you to listen for what do you think this whole thing is mostly about. A little seed for me to sow, a little seed to make it grow, a little hole, a little patch, a little wish, and this and that is that. A little sun, a little shower, a little while, and then a flower. Now, I know what the details, the little toppings are. There's a little detail about a hole. There's a little detail about um, a rain shower. There's a little detail about a flower. But what is the whole main idea pizza about? Is it all about a little hole? Is this whole poem telling me about a hole? No, that was just a small popping detail. Taking a shower. Wait a minute. The word shower was in this poem, but it was not about taking a shower. I think the shower it was talking about was the rain that comes down on the seed. C, how to plant a seed. Hmm. It tells me um, to make a hole, to pat it, to give it sun, to give it water, and then there's a flower. All the little details tell me about how to plant a seed. So I would agree that C is the right answer. And I'm actually going to get my tools back out so that I can show you how I'm gonna draw on the screen to choose my answer. We can't just say the answer out loud. We have to show how we choose our answer. C, how to plant a seed. Not about a little hole. That would be a little detail. It's not about taking a shower. It's not about that at all. It's about how to plant a seed. Let's try one more before it's your turn. Winter is cold. There is snow in the sky. The squirrels gather nuts and the wild geese fly. The fluffy red fox has his fur to keep warm. The bear's in her cave sleeping all through the storm. What is the main idea of this poem? All about winter. It does tell me about how winter is cold, but I don't think that squirrels gathering nuts is all about winter. I don't know that a cave is all about winter. I don't think wild geese is all about winter. I think some of the topics are not just about winter. I feel like I'm hearing about geese and squirrels and foxes and bears. That sounds more like animals. So maybe it's about winter, but I'm gonna check them all. B, what winter animals do? Hmm, what are the small details? Squirrels gather nuts. That's what a winter animal does. Wild geese fly. That's what a winter animal does. The fox has fur to keep warm. That's what a winter animal does. The bear sleeps all through the storm. That's what a winter animal does. Every single small detail told about how what winter animals do. But we always check them all, so I'm gonna check C as well. Foxes have fur. That was in our poem too. But it was a small detail. The whole thing was not about foxes. All right, let's see what you got. On the next slide, you're going to listen to the poem again. So press play, listen to the poem again, and choose what the main idea of this poem is for today.